Hi, I'm So Derry, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a DIY peplum sequin skirt. Let's get started. First, we're going to start off by cutting our fabric. I'm using a pattern that I made based on my measurements and where I want the skirt to sit on my waist. Now I'm going to cut the sequin fabric out. I'm cutting this fabric out on my kitchen floor because sequins get messy. The sequins popped everywhere and it's just easier to cut it on the floor because you can easily sweep it up once you're done. Next I'm going to pin down both sides of the fabric where I'll be sewing. I normally use a serger when I'm sewing stretched fabric, however being that I'm using sequins this time, I'm going to be using my regular sewing machine for this entire project. Now I'm just going to sew with a straight stitch um, with a stitch length of 3.5 all the way down both sides of the skirt. Next, I'm going to cut out the peplum portion of the skirt. Using the lower portion of the skirt, where I cut out the top, I'm going to fold the fabric in half once, and then fold it again. Once I do that, I'm going to measure to see how long the fabric is, and then I'm going to use that length to measure tick marks all the way around to make a quarter of a circle. Then I'm going to cut this portion out. Next, I'm going to start by cutting about an inch off of the corner, and then I'm going to see if it fits the skirt. If it doesn't fit the skirt, which it doesn't, <laughs> I'm just going to cut off a little bit more until it fits the skirt the way I want it to fit. Next, we're going to put the skirt together. To make the waistband, I used a piece of sequin fabric that was 2 inches wide times the length of my waist, and then I used a piece of lining fabric that was the same length, and I sewed them together to make the waistband, and I inserted elastic into the waistband. I also hemmed the bottom of the peplum skirt and I put the peplum on top of the skirt the way I wanted it and then I put the waistband right sides together with the skirt to sew it and now we're going to take it to the machine and sew. When sewing the waistband onto the skirt, I did use a zigzag stitch because I'm not using my serger and using a zigzag stitch will allow the stitches not to pop when I'm pulling the skirt over my hips. And basically that's it. And there you have it, a beautiful sequin peplum skirt. Thanks for watching, you guys.